And our commitment to stopping Iran is not just rhetoric, our commitment is backed up with action. How could you not, how could you not be worried about Iran becoming a nuclear power when the man who is the dictator of Iran is dedicated to your destruction? You would have to be stupid. Never again will you allow companies and businesses and university professors to boycott or to isolate the Jews or the Israelis. You remember the TV program, Ripley's Believe It or Not? Believe it or not, in the conference on the status of women, they found out that one country, one country only, no, not Afghanistan, not Iran, not Saudi Arabia on the attitude towards women, but Israel is to be condemned. In 2010, we learned that two of the gentlemen on this panel with us, right, were given an order to prepare the military for an imminent strike against Iran's nuclear installations. And they refused. I, I was not afraid from, not from the Iranian, not from the Palestinian, not from the Egyptian, and not from the Syrians, from the Syrian. Do you think that I would be afraid of somebody who's saying something in this, in this audience?